Hey, what is up guys? Chaos Suppressor here. Welcome to another video. And today we're going to be teaching you guys how to overclock a GT710 without the fan, aka the GT710 that doesn't have a built-in fan. So first of all, we're going to be going to the settings and we're going to be showing you guys what I put on my one minute, my monitor my monitoring. So this is what we'll be showing in the game for me. I have my memory usage, memory clock usage and my core clock usage. I also have the GPU temperatures and usage. Alright, now that we're done with that, we can just hurry up and go over here. So, first thing is, this is the new MSI Afterburner look. All links will be down in the description, aka download links and such. So, really this graphics card you don't want to boost up too much or it can really harm your card or aka wear it out. So for the core clock usage what you want to usually go for is around 300 350. I will be setting mine to 350. So for the memory clock usage we will be putting it up to around 300. 300 is also really good and as you guys see the temperature is still fine. Now once you click this it means everything is set make sure your MSI stays open or really the overclock will not work now I'll be right back to show you guys some games alrighty what is up guys chaos here and um so for the final part of this video I'm gonna be showing you that my game is currently clocked and I'm getting around 100 FPS now this is gonna be really good seeing that my computer used to only get around 80 and it used to actually get around 60 with the res I was on so as you see I'm playing Counter-Strike Go now yes this game is mainly CPU but yes the GPU does help out quite a bit I get around 100 FPS like I said with around this resolution with everything on well I think my game just crashed no it, okay no it didn't okay but my resolution is 1360 by 768 on 16 by 9. I'm Luke, like I said, I get around 100 FPS, and that's about it, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.